North Korea will send 12,000 troops, including special forces, to the war in Ukraine. This information was found out by South Korean intelligence, Reuters writes, citing the South Korean agency Yonhap. North Korea has reportedly decided to deploy four brigades and that troop movements have already begun. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol is reported to have held an unscheduled security meeting with key intelligence, military and national security officials to discuss the involvement of North Korean troops in Russia's war against Ukraine. The participants of this meeting shared the opinion that the rapprochement between the DPRK and Russia represents a serious threat to security not only for our country but also for the international community, the agency noted. Let us recall that the head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budanov, stated that about 11,000 North Korean soldiers are undergoing training in the east of the Russian Federation. According to him, 2,500 North Korean soldiers will be sent to the Kursk region and it is unknown where the rest will be sent. Budanov added that the aforementioned soldiers will be ready for war in Ukraine by November the 1st and they will use Russian equipment and ammunition. North Korea is a totalitarian and militarized country that is in a state of permanent confrontation with the Republic of Korea. Divided by the 38th parallel, Korea has become one of the symbols of the Cold War and now the Kim Jong-un regime is a reliable ally for Russia. The prospects of supplying the Kremlin with cannon fodder from the Korean peninsula are truly alarming. Despite the complicated logistics of deploying manpower, Korean soldiers have obvious advantages for the Kremlin. They are trained and no one will cry or worry about them in Russia, meaning that it is possible to increase the army without negative social manifestations. Yes, this step may indicate a deterioration in the situation in Russia, but it does not deny Putin's desire to continue his offensive in Ukraine. And the consequences of the ratification of the comprehensive strategic partnership agreement between Russia and North Korea by the parliaments should be taken seriously. Around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen are currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine, told. They will be ready by November 1st, the intelligence chief said. He noted that North Korean troops will use Russian equipment and ammunition, and the first echelon of 2,600 soldiers will go to Kursk, where fighting continues. Where the rest of the troops will be sent is still unknown. We don't have the full picture right now, Budinov said. Earlier, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that North Korea is already preparing a contingent to fight against Ukraine. It's not just infantry, but also specialists from various military services. According to the President of Ukraine, there is information from Ukrainian intelligence that North Korean officers are already in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. They are training Russian soldiers. I do not know the number of officers, but there is intelligence that Russia is counting on such reinforcement. Because Russia is not able to keep up with mobilization. It loses too many on the battlefield. And Putin knows that his society is against mobilization. That is why he is looking for external support, the president says. Zelensky says that Russia and North Korea intend to train 10,000 soldiers from various branches of the armed forces and ground forces. That is, Putin wants to involve not only infantry but also specialists from various branches of the military, including tactical ones. And we know that North Korea is already preparing a contingent to fight against Ukraine. This is a very urgent thing, the head of state says. Zelensky says he had talked to the United States and many leaders about this, as it is the involvement of another country in the war. This is an official fact that another country is being drawn into the war and will fight against Ukraine as a contingent alongside Russia. Because you know that Iran has already provided Russia with missiles and UAVs, but not with contingents. And this is a serious step, the involvement of a contingent in the war, he emphasizes. Footage North Korean Army soldiers training at a military training ground in Russia have been released. The images circulated on Russian telegram channels have been captured by Russian soldiers at the training ground. Hundreds of soldiers can be seen in the released footage. 
The Russian military says there are more Koreans in the area. It should be noted that Kirill Budinov, head of the main Directorate of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine earlier said that around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine. They will be ready by November 1, the intelligence chief said. He noted that North Korean troops will use Russian equipment and ammunition, and the first echelon of 2,600 soldiers will go to Kursk, where fighting continues. Where the rest of the troops will be sent is still unknown. We don't have the full picture right now, Budinov noted.